I want to go to that same one. We're not going all the way back to Lake Forest. And they have, well, that's the only touch free one. Well, we'll find another, but listen, no, they might, Sasha. I, I don't want to find on the right side. I had a hard time as a child growing up, and I see a lot of myself in him. When I was little, um, I have, you know, quirks and little OCDs, but nothing is as enhanced as his is. I've never felt it necessary to mourn his diagnosis. We're gonna go eat right now, and we're gonna find a car wash in a little bit after lunch, okay? That, that one did not count. I know it's gonna be a struggle, and he'll need me forever, but it doesn't make me love him any more or any less. He's my first, so I, I didn't really know what normal was. All right, can he you... ha it has hot dogs. He will not eat inside of a restaurant. I want a hot dog. Um, or at home, unless. Right, unless it, he goes to the drive-through experience, so, you, so he has to go through drive-through to eat. Yes, sir. My name. By 22 months old, he had three diagnoses of autism. He gets picked on a lot, and because he's pretty high functioning at this point, he understands a lot of it, and he's starting to have anxiety problems about that. As a parent of a child on the spectrum, for years, all I wanted was for my child to acknowledge me. And through skateboarding, he does. You know, autism is, it's a growing disorder and it's, it's one of the fastest growing disorders that there is in childhood. I am always focused. You're focused? You're ready to skate? I can handle anything. All right, sounds like a plan. Yeah, I was completely naive to autism. You know, my idea of autism was Rain Man. There's no wrong way to skate. If they're on their bottoms, if they're standing up, as long as they're having fun, they're doing it right. It's not, you know, there's all different realms, and that was my, you know, of course, what media projects, and that was my thoughts on what autism was. I wasn't even aware of any of it, you know? start partnering guys up, that's cool. You know, a lot of people look at what we do and they think it's great, you know. I, obviously it's great, we're helping these children with autism, we're introducing skateboarding, but as they get older, they're going to transition and evolve and learn that this is an outlet for them and that they were given the tools and the training and the experience and the exposure to be able to use this as an outlet when they get older. It's just going to evolve into a self-therapy for themselves, a tool that they can use for the rest of their life. You see that you really touched a kid and they can't experience this kind of stuff on their own, you know, and then you're, the moms start crying, you know, to you too, and you're like, because, you know, you just took the kid off their hand for a second and you introduced them to something completely new and, they don't get that ever, you know. Actually, I have a funny quote on our website. It's like, skateboarders have autism. <laughs> like, it, it's just like when things are going wrong in their life, they're drawn to skateboarding. And it calms them, it helps them, it soothes them, and it makes them happy. Um, our children are outcasts. To me, this is therapeutic for me, like meeting these families and the parents. I keep in touch with all of them. And I feel like for these other parents, like we're the outcasts. I feel like we're this group of outcast parents that don't know where to go with ourselves. And this is our therapy with each other. Dude, you were awesome today. Is this it, car wash is for you. I'm sorry, it's but not, hey, is it one by Weir's next? No, it's not. But it's the only car wash we got right now. A lot of these kids are enhanced in certain areas. They see things we don't see, and their minds are so simple and compressed and focused on the things that are actually important in life. They see 
which direction the hole in the car wash is going to move so that when he grows up to be a car wash builder, he can make it better because theirs doesn't work as well. It seemed like the best thing to do is cry. This type of awareness for what we're doing is helping so many children. So I laid on the black top and started to die. Including my son. Today we held a clinic in Lake Forest for about 100 children with autism. To keep our efforts going, we need your help. And we really appreciate everyone coming out and supporting. Um, so I, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. The freak accident went wrong, I lined up my neck. I actually flat lined three times. I went down and I just died on the dirt right there.